Bonjour, Frenchy ladies, it's Marianne. In trying to improve or upgrade yourself, what do you do when somebody tells you, so you think you're better than me? In this video, we are going to explore this and I will give you my answer at the end of this video. People have been really enjoying recently my videos on elegance, but one comment comes up again and again. What do you do when somebody tells you that when they see you improve or grading yourself, you are in some way putting them down, that you are loading it over them or holding yourself above them? This is a related question I often get on my style videos because when you are trying to improve yourself and dress better, more stylishly, you may get very often comments such as, well, you think you're better than me? Why are you so dressed up? Why are you going like this? Are you going to a funeral? Style and elegance go hand in hand. And this is why my first book was called How to be Chic and Elegant. The answers for one and the other are always the same. In my view, all of life can be explained by the principle that I teach on chic and elegance. So what can we do when challenged? We could try the direct flat denial, but I think that could entrance both of us into opposite camp. And that is not a good situation. Or you may start thinking and feeling some guilt after being challenged and maybe thinking, oh yes, they're right, maybe that by them feeling uneasy about your change, you may think that you should revert back to the old you. Or you could easily turn the challenge around saying that it is the other person who is preventing you from self-improving and self-expression. But this again could lead to confrontation. Whose interests are more important, yours or theirs? And the answer is neither, unless for the intention. If your intention is to self-improve in order to be above the other person, then that is wrong. But if the other person's intention is to stop you improving, then their interest is wrong. But again, we get the confrontation. In approaching the answer, let's remember that people grow at different rates. This may be the right time for you for self-improvement and growth, but this may not be the right time for them. Your stepping up may have touched on some anxiety on their part because they may not feel ready for a change. And this may result in some growing apart and it is always sad to see in friendship and families. But the only inevitable thing in the universe is change. I had thought about starting the video with the example of a flower. A flower does not think about being more beautiful than the flower next to it. Its petals and color and scent are just a way of expressing itself. I was going to offer this as the answer, but it is not right because flowers do not think, do they? Well, I think not that we know of. I had a client who came to me for some style advice, but she expressed some pushback from the advice that I was recommended and I asked her why she was resisting it. Her answer was to say that it was easy for me because I was younger and I was slimmer. And she said she expressed some envy because of it. If I had been the flower, I would have replied, it is what it is. But I didn't think that was an elegant answer. But I asked her what she did. She told me she was a doctor and spent every day in scrubs. So she did not have the chance to dress in stylish clothes. And of course, the answer was evident to me. She was a highly qualified, highly motivated and highly compassionate person who saved lives and would go on saving many lives for years to come. So my point is, you never know who is standing in front of you. And as elegant, stylish women, we should always take into consideration how people think of us. In terms of being elegant, humility is one of his best expressions. In coming to the answer, Let's remember that we can never control how people think and how they view us. We can only control our reaction. Before I move on to the answer, 
I would like to thank you for watching. And if you are enjoying this video, please click like, share it with your many friends and subscribe. At the end of this video, there will be a playlist of many videos on chic and elegance. Faced with this direct questioning on why you are seeking self-improvement should not be a defensive one, but one of understanding and compassion. Confrontation only leads to division. So when you meet this challenge, whether in your manner or style, what do you do? First of all, understand you can only control your reaction, not theirs. Secondly, reflect on your own intentions. Finally, when faced with a challenge, so you think you are better than me, I would suggest the following reply. I do not know what you are capable of. I am not in any way striving to be better than you are today. I am only striving to be better than the person I was yesterday.